Biden made a surprise visit to Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, people up in Ohio is uh, going through a Chernobyl. You know, I, I don't know. I don't have high hopes of the future. I'm black pill. You know, I'm black pill about everything. <laughs> um, but this was a kick in the teeth, man. Like, this is a gut punch. Like, I couldn't believe my eyes. On President's Day. That was nasty. And here goes Scott Adams going to bring up Negroes. When you're president, Scott, didn't Scott vote for Biden? Did he? I don't know. Nah. Nah, ain't no way. Chat, please confirm. Yeah, he, he's a Biden voter. Your president, Scott, was in the Ukraine on President's Day while a a city in America is under an environmental catastrophe. They saying he did. Nah, ain't no way. The chat said he did. Somebody say somebody say he didn't vote. It, it, I've seen. I'm seeing some right here. This is to turn it to the Scott Adams episode. I see something right here. Dilba creator says he don't like, he feels betrayed by Trump, but voted for him anyway, but says he'll vote for him anyway. God ain't, come on, man. Y'all doing my, my God dirty. <laughs> <laughs> ain't that bad. <laughs> ain't no way. Um, yeah, that was bad, man. That, this was bad optics. I, I just, I just felt that, you know, this shows, I think this kind of shows you how important they're going all the way in with Ukraine. Like this is, they're going to take this grift to the, they're going to like, they're going to run your pockets dry before they'll give up Ukraine grip. Mitch McConnell was saying the same thing. They're going to run our pockets. That's why they, they hired on them IRS agent. They got, they got, they got pockets to run. And nobody's saying a word. Nobody's protesting. That's why I'm like, America's finished, man. <laughs> Stick a fork in America, man. Still hope. Man. You can't get these white folks to do nothing, man. Like, get on board on page on something important. Like, worrying about Negroes is not important. <laughs> Stopping this next, like, 30 years of, like, we was in Afghanistan for how many years? Yeah. All that money, we got railroads we need to fix. Can't fix nothing, but we're sending Z Man and them all our money. I mean, not all our money. I don't know what Mitch McConnell said. It's only 0. 0.002 of our GDP. I don't know. That's a couple, it's a hundred over a hundred billion. You know, we could that could be spent on American infrastructure, but it doesn't. You know, it's too easy. I'm, I, I'm not trying to pick on white folks, but it's too easy to get Americans side, you know, um, uh, distracted on something, something easy, like stupid. Facts. Doesn't even count. Doesn't worry. Like we, us, <clears throat> we should be trying to stop this, us supporting this conflict right now and bring peace. Like, hey, y'all come to the table. We'll talk this out right now. Let's stop all this weapons and shit. Now these weapons go on everywhere. Listen, I had a show. Set, <laughs> you heard, oh, you came in late on my show. I had a show on Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody, he was from, uh, I think he was in Denmark or something. He was, he was calling from Denmark. He's like, yo, man, I've been living over here for a while now. i never seen so many military equipment come through here. Cause you know it come through over Europe. To go get oh this. yeah, to get there. Yeah, it's like he never seen so much shit over there. Mm. And I think I don't know if that was the same. It was a different guy. He said. Uh, he said so he's he's been hearing that some of the he's heard that some of the Ukrainians are working deals with the Russians to sell them American equipment, so they can get some money, so they can get out of Ukraine. 
our weapons are going all over the place. We don't know where it's going. But we want to keep following this stuff. Yeah, he's saying that uh, CNN reporter said he was there and he hadn't heard any explosions in Ukraine. But as soon as Biden arrived, all of a sudden they hear an explosion. You know how that goes. You ain't hear that from me. That's what CNN said. Biden fell on the stairs again? Bust his ass. Up and down the stairs. Did he? Up and down the stairs. Bust his ass coming, bust his ass going. God don't like evil. God do not like evil. And Zelensky said if China allies itself with Russia, there will be a world war. Now, China has been saying... uh, I think they supplied Russia with drones, I think. Mm. And they're working out agreements to supply them with some wep- other weapons, I think. Um, so China said, we got your back. Yeah. I think they worked a little bit together in Syria. Um, like I said, man, the, the, and like even from a tactical, and this is why I know that they want to uh, drain America, because from even from a tactical sense, Like, I'd have more respect for Biden and them and the elites if they would say, hey, man, we're sending the Marines, man, over to Ukraine. I don't don't give a fuck what the hell y'all doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Send the troops in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then I know they're being serious. They're not being serious just sending weapons over there and the weapons is going to just go on anybody's hands and stuff like that. This is where you know it's a money pit. You know what I mean? They're going to drain us dry. They want to prolong the conflict as long as they can. You know, they're not serious about this. Um, Proxy war. In China, they're serious. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like we're being out, outfoxed, outcoached. Like if this was check chess, <clears throat> we're, we're playing checkers, they're playing chess. Mm-hmm. It seems like to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's a meme going around with all the leaders that tried to take down Russia, starting with the Ottoman Empire, and all of them failed. They've been trying, Russia, trying, Russia, trying, Russia. It's not happening. I'm going to say this. Russia is the last white man standing. Russians are the last great white man standing. The greatest white man to ever touch this planet is a Russian. The Russians so bad you can't even beat them in UFC. (laughs) The Russians so bad they killed Apollo Creed. 